Yo guys, what's going on? King Flipper here and welcome to another Future Stars SBC. Today we are doing Nicolo Barella, I think it's pronounced. Um, where do you want to start with this card? Um, 84 pace, 76 shot, 87 passing, 89 dribbling, 85 defense and 79 physicality. People are already comparing him to the Kante of the Serie A. I mean, his card looks absolutely insane. Uh, five foot nine, so he's a bit taller than Kante. Medium high, same word, weight as Kante. Three star, three star, I think he's got a slightly better weak foot than, and the same skill moves, or it's vice versa, because I think he's two star, three star, with that. But then he gets to his in game stats. Oh my god. Like, where would you like to start? 86 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. That is a quality card for CDM or even Centimid. Or really can if you want to put him there. His shooting stats ain't even that bad. 84 attack positioning with 72 finishing with 82 shot power. 76 long shots. The volleys are poo. And penalties, no one's interested in that. So, you know, decent shooting stats for a Centimid stroke CDM. Passing stats are pretty good as well. 84 vision, 84 crossing. Free kick accuracy, you're not, you're not going to use him for free kicks. 91 short passing, 87 long passing with 81 curve. Don't forget, not really one that takes a million shots. Dribbling stats though, here we go. 83 agility, not the best. 92 balance though, pretty good. 87 reactions with 91 ball control, 89 dribbling and 89 composure. Like, uh, okay then, sick. His defending stats are unreal as well. 90 inceptions. He can't jump for crap, but no one's interested in that. 86 defense awareness with 91 stand tackle and 87 slide tackle. Okay, then. Um, you know, sick. Then you get into his physicality stats. No one's interested in his jumping. He has 95 stamina, guys. 66 strength, though. A little bit low. I thought it might have been over 70, but you know. But he has 93 aggression. That's that's sick. And then we get into his game. We get into it. Two SPCs, both 85 rated, an Italian one and a Serie A one. So you're probably guessing right now, Bo already. These teams are going to be pretty much similar. They're just different formations. So requirements: you need one Italian player. We have two, three. We have three anyhow. Team of the weeks: minimum of one. We have Santi Cazola, cheapest 86 rated card. Uh, you don't need him specifically, um, but he is the cheapest 86 rated at the moment. Uh, team over on of 85. We're bang on 85. Can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry of 75 minus Ramsey's one. We're going to down to 77. No position changes or loyalty, and 11 players in squad. Uh, so mainly again Italian league bar 86 rated team of the week card. So we'll get into it again. These are footbin prices at the point of time doing this SBC. Bids and snipes will always save you some coins on these anyhow. But we'll start off with Buffon, who's around 2k at this point in time. Godin, which is one of your higher rated cards, 31.5k. Kadira in centre back, yes, 1.8k. Same with Lopez, centre back, because centre backs are expensive. You don't want to spend money on them, 1.9k. We got Pjanic, 18.5k. He's jumped up quite a bit recently, but still pretty cheap. Uh, Ramsey is 1.9k. Uh, Bernard. Bernadeschi, I think it's pronounced Bernadeschi, um, 2.8k, so not really too bad, because originally I was going to put a eight like Roman Ugly or Asabi in centre-back, but he's cheaper by quite a bit, so that's why I went for him. Uh, Santa Cazola, as I said, your 86-rated Team of the Week card from the Liga, he's the cheapest at this point in time, 22k. Uh, Gomez is 10k, Cam 85-rated. Craig Allaire has come down by quite a good chunk, he's 1.9k now, he's actually cheaper than Milik. And then Illich is 4.5k, cheapest 84 rated as well. Plus he does strong link with Gomez. So this was 98.8k, uh, so it's not too bad. You do get a 25k pack, which is tradable, which is a premium gold player, so that's pretty decent. And then we get the Italian one. Uh, again, pretty much the same. Pretty much the same players as well, because it's cheap. Um, requirements, you need Serie A player minimum one, as you can see, by one player, which is Cazola again. Um, they're all Italian league. Team of the week again, we have Santi Cazola again, because he's the cheapest 86 rated card. Uh, team over on of 85, again, we're bang on 85, can't lower anyone else. Team chemistry is 70, minus Ramsey, we're on 73, so sweet as that. And 11 players in squad, so as, it can, as I said, we've gone Italian league again. Pretty much the same players, bar like one or two. Just one, really, named Golan, who's coming here. I think you can get away with someone else as well. Um, so we'll start with Buffon again, 2K. Paolo Lopez, 1.9. Godin, 31.5. Ramsey, again, 1.9. Cazola, again, cheapest 86-rated card, 22K. 
Pjanic 18.5, Kadir is 1.8, Illich is 4.5, cheapest 84, then Golan is 2k, you can use any 83 rated card centre mids here, or Cam, it's still going to be above the Cam anyhow, Gomez again 10k, cheapest 85 rated in the league, and Quagalera again cheapest 83 rated striker, um, so again, this is 98k, so it's slightly cheap, only slightly cheaper just because of the formation, um, than the... I don't actually know why it was slightly cheaper. There's got to be one. I think there's one. Oh, because I didn't use Benedeschi in this one because you can't. You can get away with that. That's the only difference. Uh, again, you get a 25k pack, which is a small red gold players pack. Two good packs. 50k is worth of packs. 196k to do. He's cheap. He's cheaper than Kante. I think he's probably now one of the best. CD, well, CDMs in the Italian league. If you've got him, I, mate. If it wasn't that I couldn't, if it wasn't that I had to go for Kante to go into my team to fit, I would definitely buy this card for 196k. 50k is worth of tradable packs. He's definitely worth doing. His card looks insane, considering he's a sent CDM. I mean, you can put to tick, pick pick a chem style. You can even pick a chem style what suits you. To be honest, you can put something that gives him more finishing. You can give him something that gives him more passing, something with more pace. You can put an engine on him. Jesus. His card is quality. For 196k, I actually think it's genuinely worth it. And if you put bids and snipes, you're probably getting for 100 or 190. So, you know. But there we go. SBC all done. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Don't forget, uh, it helps the channel and the video. Uh, obviously, if you want to see more SBCs, live streams, or anything that's just absolutely outrageous, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you got that notification bell on so you can keep up to date as soon as I've uploaded these. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video stream. And as per normal, take it easy, guys, and obviously, peace.